Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HBC. We're here at SC18 in Dallas, Texas. And today, we're at the NVIDIA booth with Mark Hamilton. Mark, it's great to see you again. Thanks for having me today. Yeah, good to see you, Rich. How's it going? Oh, good, good. Hey, I read about your new machine, the DGX2 H. H. What is the H for, man? Well, um, it all started like this. Um, DGX2 has been well publicized, 16 GPUs, NV switch, uh, two head ops of deep learning operations. And uh, we were sitting around with uh, Jensen about six weeks ago. Uh, we were having a meeting and he said, uh, are we gonna have any DGX2s in the top 500 list? We said, well, we've shipped quite a few. We're starting to ship quite a few, but we don't think any customers will have a cluster ready. And he said, well, come on, Mark. You've got like five weeks to go. You could put together a cluster. How many would you need? Well, 36 would be a good number, you know, 36 InfiniBand ports and the like. And so he said, well, he goes, uh, have you ever talked to our gaming guys? I go, I don't really talk to those gaming guys much. And he said, well, they're always overclocking stuff. Can't you overclock a DGX2? One of the engineers said, uh, no, no, Tesla, that's locked down. You can't overclock it. And Jensen said, well, go talk to the engineers that built it. They can overclock it. And so we set out five weeks ago with a mission of building sort of the, you know, the supercharged overclocked DGX2. So we did a bunch of different things. Um, first is these use the SXM3 module. You can't really tell from here, but the, with the heat sink on it, but the base module is what we call SXM3. And that was designed well, it ships at 300 watts. It was designed to support up to 450 watts. And so our engineers were a little crazy and they said, what if we overclock these to 450 watts? Let's see what happens. And then we've got a pretty powerful Intel CPU, two of them. You can't see two Intel right. Platinum, 24 yeah. core. Right. But uh, Intel has a special sort of, uh, you know, one of their off price list SKUs runs 24 cores at 3.1 gigahertz. And so we basically threw away 72 perfectly good Intel Platinum CPUs and got like the late, you know, the absolute fastest we yeah. could. Okay. Um, uh, and then we threw out a couple of, there's a two normally a 25 gig ethernet cards to connect to storage. We threw those out and to add to the eight Mellanox EDR cards, we added another 200 gig cards to connect to storage. Then we turned the whole thing on. So normally 10,000 watts runs at 12,000 watts. We had to do some changes to the power supplies, a little bit of other tuning and uh, boom, we ended up at uh, just over three teraflops on Limpack, which was good enough for uh, number 62 on the top 500. I was pretty happy because I had uh, I had committed it to be 75 or better. You know, I always uh, go a little easy on the numbers. And um, uh, five weeks, uh, start of the idea, no DJX2s in-house to um, top 500 list entry uh, in time for the deadline. And so then Jensen said, well, we built 36 of these, they're all hand-built, why don't we just sell them? So last Friday we announced uh, Oak Ridge National Labs took delivery of the first hand-built uh, DGX2H, and uh, if customers are interested, uh, the product, product is for sale. Um, the, by the way, the H does not stand for Hamilton. <laughs> DGX2, uh, high performance, I think. Okay, okay. Just wanted to clear that up. And, uh, we're pretty excited about it. Now, you know, we think that the bulk of what we sell will be in DGX2, but if that isn't enough for someone and they want to replicate, they can have one. That's great, Mark. You know, so this is a product now, you're saying? It's a product. Okay. Yep. Okay. So when we overclock things, um, stability becomes a problem, and um, how do you keep it cool? Those are the two questions. Um, so, um, again, we use um, it's air cool. Uh, the fans are all adjustable fans, of course, so we, we ran the fans higher when we were running Linpack. Um, it was very stable. We did a number of Linpack runs, and again, you know, Linpack is because uh, it, it runs for quite some time, so you have to have a stable system to run that, right? It, yeah. If you have any inconsistency, right, because it's running in lockstep, you're not going to get good results on yeah. it. Yeah. Um, that makes 
makes sense. I mean, that's Limpac, they use it to burn in systems, right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. So that's part of, uh, uh, that cluster now is uh, part of our larger uh, Saturn V DGX cluster, which is uh, over a thousand DGXs, ones and now twos. So wow. and that, and we use that for all of our internal uh, deep learning, high performance computing, and uh, other research graphics applications at NVIDIA. Well, Mark, I got to congratulate you to pull something like that off in that short amount of time and land that high on the top 500. Congratulations, man. Thanks, Thanks Rich. Good job. Talk to you soon.